Looky what I have. I wanted to get the other one too, but it was sold out. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's 64 Hydro is Soul of the Witch, Heart of a Dragon. Um, yeah, I'm, I love this one. This one I actually think I got off Amazon. And of course it has my usual drink in it. We're not doing any fancy teas right now. It's been, well right now it's kind of dark out. Looks like it might rain again. I'm going to take a drink. Oh, I, I think I'll get back to uh, teas uh, when it is no longer running between like 85 to 98. I think it's been some of the high points have been. Anyway, so today we are going to go ahead and do our tryout for the new Cosmic Brushes Cool Trails. Uh, it does look used. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And um, let's, let's do some swatching. So as I mentioned, I did want to pick up the other one, the more, um, the, the more neutral, the new trails one. Uh, however, it was sold out. I used a number of these, actually. It's kind of scary. Um, but it was sold out, so I just pretty much went with um, with this one since it was available. And um, yeah, so there we are. Let's get this silver. There we go. All right, all right, all right. So I've got three shimmery shades and two mattes. Take a look there. There's that silver. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful too. It's starting to rain. Okay, so this one has that glittery in it. Now, ColourPop has a similar shade of black or had a similar shade of black that has these glitters in it. I don't see them as being as pronounced as they are in this one. And um, oh, God, it's barely came off my fingers. I don't think you guys are getting a real good show there, but anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shades. And, uh, but, uh, like I said, the color pop one, I don't think comes up like this. And as you'll see, when we do the look, it comes up really dark on the eyes. So, and also our shimmers are leaving something behind. So that's really nice as well. I was testing some of these out to come up with the look and that's how I knew that they were, um, how I knew that they were going to leave a little bit behind and I wanted to go ahead and show that to you. I will say that this look did not go without issues. There, There is an issue and we will talk about it after we get into, you know, when we do all the talking about that we normally do at the end of making the look. So if you're interested in this look, hello, or this palette, or this brand, if you've never tried this brand before, just keep on watching. We're starting off bright today. It's bright. It's sunny out. It's bright. Thank God. It has been raining for so long. Anyway, so I've got a plan. <laughs> I've been doing really good at having a plan before I get here. So we're going to start with um, this color Crave. And then we're going to put this color Secret over it. Interesting. It looks more pinky, so I think that's a bit of a duochrome. But I just want to put enough of it over it to give it a little sheen. I don't want it to be bright and sparkly because this look is going to have mostly shimmer. And then on the inner corner, we're going to put this color Reveal, which is going to go into Magnetic. And then for our one mat that I'm, I'm, or I'm using, we're going to put this color Midnight on the outer corner. For our point, we're going to be using Affinity. And then finally, for the um, 
definer part there, we're going to use this shimmery black eclipse. So let's go ahead and get start with started with Crave. Crave. I'm craving. Uh, I need to wash my brushes, folks. I think I've mentioned that before. <laughs> I did a quick scrub with the with a wipe and then on my color changer. I think that helped a little bit, but I really seriously need to do a serious wash of my brushes. All right, now that I've yammered my way, we're going to grab some of this Crave. She's a very light pink. She's one of two mattes that we're using, actually. I said one matte. But this one's going to get covered over. Which actually, it's fine. It, it would show blendability, if nothing else, right? Nice and light. This is what I wanted for this particular shade. Is something really light. Remember, we use the colors. I use the colors. If not, we. You may not do it this way. Uh, I use the colors under the brow to kind of brighten things up, particularly since I have that hood. You can see that hood dropping down over the lid a bit. And that is probably only going to get worse as I age. <laughs> some things about aging are not a good time. All right, so I'm going to grab some of this color secret. Let's hope that it works on the end of this brush. Because okay, so we don't, oh, oh, I'm going to go, oh, because that picked up quite a bit. That's a quite a bit more than what I intended. So we're going to keep most of that closer to the um, the crease, but we are moving it upward. I just wanted to give a little shine. I forgot that these are very, that's one of two, maybe three brands that has um, shimmers that are very approachable with a brush. It turned our pink very purple, didn't it? At least that's how it's looking to me. I'm going to take a bit more of that matte just up here at the top. I'm going to dull down the shimmer a little bit and bring in some of that pink back. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. I haven't eaten. Tommy, you need to eat. Your food is here. You need to eat. So put your food. Open your food. All right. Since these guys hold up so well, generally speaking, uh, on the eyes, mostly, usually, um, well, I'm just going to put my um, glitter primer on my inner corner. Because it does seem to help a little bit with the um, the way my eye loses stuff on that inner corner. <laughs> and so we're just going to put it on the inner corner instead of all the way across. Even though we're doing a shimmer across the lid. Um, cosmic brushes or cosmic beauty. They might be co being called cosmic beauty now. Well, it still says cosmic brushes on the packaging. I heard they might have a name change but I guess not but uh, their stuff is pretty good you're what's driving me crazy cat hair cat hair okay and as usual it's picking up some of that base that I already have down this is not uncommon I have somehow gotten stuff all over my fingers. Okay. Debating. I don't need to use a sponge tip. Do I want to use a sponge tip? We'll use a sponge tip for the inner corner. And then we'll try a brush for the across the lid. I find the sponge tips or the very tiny brushes do better on my inner corner. And this is a color that I'm not quite sure what it's going to do because it might be more of a, a topper, but let's find out. 
Let's find out. These are so soft. I just love their formula. I really, really do. I would wonder if they work with the same lab as um, Nomad, but, well, they could still work with the same lab. This one is definitely at least a duochrome. I need to get the tip. I'm not even having to press that hard to pick anything up. That is so nice. And yet it's not flaking all over the place. Also, so nice. Okay. It's in there. And it's actually more opaque than transparent, thankfully. Thankfully. Okay, so next, I'm going to go ahead and try that, um, that color. The name now escapes me. <laughs> me. We're going to go ahead and try a wet brush. Cross the lid with Magnetic, that beautiful purpley blue. I do have another palette I probably mentioned in the opening when, when I'm... I was first talking about this. I do have another palette that I intend to use just under the corner, under the, under the lash line. Well, that's coming up. Well, it's coming up, but I bet you it'd be a lot stronger with a sponge tip. It's there. But I think it needs a sponge tip. Yeah, I'm cleaning the brush and not much is coming up off the brush, so it needs a sponge tip. Needs a sponge tip. Alright, so we'll grab the sponge tip. Hi, sponge tip. And we'll do the other side. There we go. This should give us a stronger purpley blue color. This is right on that border of purple and it's kind of a royal blue with a purple, with a purple cast. There, see? The only downside is it's much harder to blend with sponge tips. Look at that baby. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. I hope you guys can see the purple cast. It's looking kind of bluish, more bluish in my uh, my screen. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, I sing. I sing when things are beautiful. I'm going to see if I can buff out this edge a little bit. I'm going to use this. This is a Mosh, Moshki, Moshki brush. I actually really like these brushes. Um, I'm just going to try to buff out this edge, blend them in a little bit. Maybe grab some of this dry. It's not picking up much dry, so you would have to use a wet brush. But it's picking up enough for me to blend that edge. Oh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There's still kind of a sharp edge. It's a short blend, as in it's not, you know, a tapered long drawn out blend. So it looks like there's a sharp edge, but you can see where they meld in. All right, so the next one, we're gonna go ahead and use this color Midnight on the outer corner. She's so dark. Be dark. 
she is dark. Going to need a little bit of building. She needs just a little bit of building. Thing about these colors, they always come up lighter than what they look in the pan because essentially you have a concentration of it in the pan and you're diluting that concentration when you put it on your lid, on your face, or on paper. Anyway. It is also blending in with that purple. I'm already very happy. Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell that I am already very happy? Okay. We're going to use a round brush. Get the tip of that wet. a little bit. Don't want it too wet. And grabbing that color affinity to do in our point. Oh, these pick up so nicely. All right, so we're going across and up a bit. Grab a little bit more. Okay, so I thought she would come out because we have the pinks and that purplish shimmer in there. I thought she would blend in and turn purple, but she's staying pretty blue. That doesn't bother me. Kind of want something in there to lighten all that up. Oh, 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 Tommy's happy. Tommy's too happy. <laughs> Tommy's too happy. <laughs> I don't normally use this one for blending, but we're going to try to blend those upper shades a little bit, those edges, just a little bit. I need a bit more blue blended out too far or I just didn't um, go up high enough for it to show up above my because I want it to show above the um, fold. I'm bringing her all the way down. Above the hood, and then da, 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 da. Oh, I like the way the two of them are mixing in here, too. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, and then we're going to take our corner brush. Grab some of this eclipse. Oh, maybe. oh man, that came right up. And from the way it's working, the sparkles are all the way through. So I'm going to go right where the purple and the white clearer color meets. Wow, okay. That is. That's, 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 that's dark. <laughs> wow. It's a bit darker than I expected, actually. All right, so, <laughs> for future reference, <laughs> Tommy, when Cosmic Brushes says black, they mean black, baby. 
<laughs> they mean black. Okay, I need another, I need something smaller though. Okay, I'm gonna try to buff this out a bit. It's a bit darker than what I expected. The edges are a bit more, I just wanna buff it a bit. I don't wanna to go too high. There we go. The thing is, this, uh, yeah, much better. I can still see edging there, so I'm gonna take the blue again. just a little bit of it and go over the edge. I'm trying to meld these colors a bit and get rid of that, what looks like skipping. It's not skipping, it's my skin, old lady skin. I'm not unhappy with this. Um, the thing is with blacks, one of the reasons that was unexpected, I'm going to have to do some fixing on my inner corner, so we might as well go ahead and try our fixing brush. Luxy fixing brush. Get that damp, just a little damp. Anyway, and lose it right, right in front of y'all. <laughs> dropping things. Anyway, the thing about um, blacks is it seems like we get them, oh, you're not picking this up, at least not a lot. Uh, it seems like we get them in, what, almost every palette? Okay, so, go back to this. Seems like we get them in almost every palette, but there, there's varying qualities. Um, some people, some brands do black, and you receive it and go, that's not black, that is charcoal gray, or light gray even, because the pigmentation for black apparently can be a problem. All right, so my inner right, where are the, Right where my inner lid meets, there's a little bit of a hole developing. Not at all surprised, but we were able to fix that. I don't think I'm unhappy with that. I don't think I'm unhappy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my sentence and I'm gonna go and finish my face. Uh, the thing is, is that the quality of um, the pigmentation of blacks, even though we get them in a ton of different palettes, I have. I could probably take all the blacks out of all my palettes and make an 18 to 24 pan palette, at least a 12, because there's blacks in every palette almost, it seems. Um, not all of them, and in some of them it makes perfect sense, but the pigmentation of those blacks vary greatly. Even within the same company, they can vary greatly. I have gotten... Um, I can't remember the name of the company now, but I used to have a quite a few of their palettes. I'm blanking. It wasn't ColourPop, because ColourPop, as far as I know, only has two blacks, and they never have changed them, to my knowledge. Um, and the shimmery black is not really shimmery. Not like this one. This one actually has shimmer. Uh, but at any rate, I've gotten black black from that company, and then I've gotten a black that's more of um, a charcoal gray. Uh, verging on black, but not quite black. So we get a lot of blacks, but we don't get a lot of blacks, if that makes sense. We don't get a lot of really good blacks. Anyway, so far I'm going to say, we're going to talk about it later, but so far I'm going to say I'm really pleased with this palette. And uh, I'm going to go and finish my face, and we will be back in a minute. Uh, for me, it's going to be a little longer than a minute, but for you, it's like Alrighty, so let's take a close look at this look before it completely falls apart. It's not actually completely falling apart, but there are some issues. Uh, 
All right, so first of all, you'll notice that there's a new color on the inner corner, and that is because of that uh, color um, reveal would not stay. It, it just it wouldn't. I honestly think that that might be closer to a topper or a blender shade rather than a full-on um, opaque shade for the eyes. I think instead of that, I might have, I should have probably gone for the silver, but that ship sailed. <laughs> And I went ahead and went with the purple because I'm wearing purple today. Um, I also failed to mention very quickly uh, for the under, um, below the lash line, I used the Nomad um, uh, Monteverde palette. And I used this purple here because it's closest to this shade. I wanted to bring a little bit of this shade into the look, but I went over it with the silver to brighten it up a bit because it's still rather dark. The look overall is rather dark. That said, I'm not unhappy with it. This pretty much performed fairly true to form. It does for their their um, their palettes. It does show that you can have some inconsistencies in terms of even within the same palette, but within the same company in the fact that that color um, that color reveal just did not stay put, whereas this color tempting did seem to really stay much better than this. This one also did not repair well and does not pick up on the brush well, whereas this one does. So that is an inconsistency within this palette. You can get those kind of inconsistencies within uh, the company, any company, in terms of from one palette to the next. All that said, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Y'all knew I was going to love it because they are a very good company. It came very quickly. They always ship very quickly. And I don't know if they're shipping priority or what, but it always comes in, you know, with, I would say, less than two weeks maybe a week and a half, and it's coming from overseas. So it clears customs quickly, it gets over to the States very quickly, and it gets, I mean, it just, they ship very well. And it is secured by Route if there's a problem. I haven't ever had to use Route to fix anything at this point, but this is a beautiful palette. I do recommend it, I do recommend the brand. You all know that these are like up there with Nomad for me, so these are like in first or second place. I love Nomad to death, but these are just starting to really kind of move up. So they might actually dethrone Nomad. Should we hide? <laughs> but the, like I said, I am planning to get the other one. And you all know that um, I am not really a neutrals kind of girl. And yet that neutrals palette of theirs has such a different take on neutrals that I am willing to give it a try and play with it. Uh, the thing is, there are browns in this one too. If you look at this top row, there are some browns up here. Probably won't see me wear those much. This is the pinky one. No, this is that pinky one that you saw on my skin. Um, the other one has more browns in it but it also has some other interesting colors that I think I can make work with with those browns to make some very interesting looks in the future. So I'm looking forward to getting the second palette. Neither of these are limited edition to my knowledge, so I probably won't get that second palette till after their next restock, so their third restock, <laughs> their second restock. This, these sold out so fast, apparently. Uh, but um, that's only because we have Dragon Con coming in buying more makeup in August, just before Dragon Con. I can't do it. <laughs> All the money has got to go towards Dragon Con. We've got plans this year. We've got plans. We've been working on the plans. I'm actually cosplaying this year. So really exciting, really looking forward to that. And uh, so that palette's just gonna have to wait till we get past things. Anyway, so that is it. I hope you liked what you've seen and that you will go ahead and subscribe and share and comment down below. Let me know if you're going to buy this palette. And um, I would really love to hear your thoughts on it. If you're going to try to pick it up, if you're going to try to pick up the, the more neutral one, I would love to hear that too. Or you could just leave me a purple heart because quite obviously I'm into 
In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and have a sip of our juice. And I'm going to go ahead and do what this prep was for and start reading at least one chapter of um, the Assassin's Journals Hunter. If you're not with us for that, I hope you will join soon. We've got two chapters up by now. Well, no, let me take that back. We have one chapter up, and the second one, split of that, should have just gone up this last Sunday. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, but I'm, I'm uh, recording... Um, chapter two today so hopefully all of it anyway sit let's get going oh so good so good my son has learned how to my son makes these for me and he's finally learned how to put the juice in just right so it's not too much but it's not so weak and diluted that it doesn't taste well anyway so i hope that you will join us for the reading that I, I did the preparing for and uh, that you will do all the things. And in the meantime, I love my girls. I love my dragonettes. I hope you have a good one. <laughs>